you. You too. I don't know if you remember, but last time you were here, you and um, Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio like walked right in the theater. How could I forget? And the audience, well, I think some of them are still screaming. Yes. It was crazy. It like blew out my eardrums. It was next level mania. It must be hard for the three of you to go to the mall together, I would imagine. Which we do often, and it's, it's always a, a nightmare. No, um, it's, I think it's just crazy enough to have one of them in the room, let alone both of them. I think. It just people. You think just it's exponential when they are yeah. together? When you guys are as a group, it suddenly becomes like a bigger thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know how much I'm elevating the situation, but definitely just Brad and Leo is like people lose Trust their Trust me, you mind. elevate all situations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Congratulations on your Golden Globe nomination. Hey. Now this is the, the second time. First one was for I, Tanya. Mm -hmm. And uh, your other big film this year, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, is nominated too. I know. So now, yes. because we know how the Golden Globes work, uh, or the casts are at tables, you have a dilemma because you have to decide if you're going to sit with your Once Upon a Time in Hollywood cast yeah. or if you're going to sit with the Bombshell cast. Who will you sit with? I, ha I hadn't. Thought that through. Have you thought about maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Like initiating a competition, they get to then compete to see which table you yeah, will sit at. I with... should, I should, <laughs> I should do that. Whoever's got the most interesting conversation happening, I'll just, I'll just jump between the two. Do you think one would be insulted if you did sit with the other one? I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually a little anxious about this now. I hadn't really thought that far ahead. Yeah, because ahead. the Oscars, yeah. everybody's in the. Everyone's group. in the seat. So, yeah. So it's well, I'm fine. glad I could bring a little extra anxiety. Thank into your you. Life. <laughs> It's good to have that this time of year. Yeah, yeah, great. When you uh, were nominated for the Oscar, who did you bring to the Oscar with you? The um, I brought my mom. Your mom, OK. You know, you got to bring your mom. Yeah. Yeah, and, and we had a great time. And she, she was so happy to be there. And I did the, you know, you, I sat her down beforehand and said, you know, be cool. Be cool, Don't right. go up to anyone. Like, everyone's having a nice night. Like, just play it cool. Did that cool. work at all? Yeah, so we get there, yeah. and I turn around for five seconds, and I turn back, I was like, where is she? And she's front row talking to Nicole Kidman, who I hadn't worked with at that time, so I didn't know. Oh. And I was, like, hissing at her. I was like, Mom, Mom, I'm with you right now. And she, as was like, she was like, she talked to me first. Is that I, true? Do your parents do that? Because that <laughs> always? was the... Always? Yeah. And they always say, she, they talk to me first. They like, talk to me. Yeah, because you're sitting in the doorway of her dressing yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally can't get past. No, it turns out Nicole, who's an absolute sweetheart, had asked someone who what my mum's name was and had uh, actually had, in this instance, talked to her first. I see. Called her over and, and just wanted to make her feel comfortable. And what does Nicole her. Kidman mean to an uh, uh, actor from Australia? Is oh, it, my God. Is she like Yeah, the... she's like our queen. It's yeah, like... Yeah, right. It's, yeah, it, it's insane. She's the best. Do you get over that quickly when you're working together? No, I'm still a little like, holy <laughs> it's Nicole. <laughs> and it's well, Nicole and Charlie's. It's, yeah, I, yeah, it's quite surreal. You are playing, well, you play a kind of an amalgamation of characters mm -hmm. in the movie. Charlie's plays Megan Kelly, and Nicole plays. Uh, Gretchen Carlson. Right, right. And then I play Kayla Pos Pospisil, who's a fictional character, but made up from a number of women's stories and their experiences at Fox News. So. Right, right. And boy, it's almost hard to believe when you watch this movie that this was really going on. Yeah, yeah, for as long as it did as well. It's, it's I mean, the movie's pretty, it's, it's incredibly entertaining. It's very fast paced and you really, you get to the end and you're like, oh my God, I, I wasn't ready for that to end. But it, it seems to be really affecting people. People just really want to talk afterwards. It's been, it's been quite fascinating. Yeah, and I wonder if, like, the gang at Fox News is, like, going to go to see it and discuss it amongst themselves, if they'll even talk about it on the air, or if I they'll try to pretend that it does, didn't happen. I know, or yeah. if, like, well, I would imagine there won't be a White House screening of this particular film. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no. Probably not, yeah. I wonder if Trump will see the movie. He's, I mean, he's in it in places, so... Well, if you tell him he's in it in places, he he's will see the, see the movie. movie. <laughs> he likes stuff that he is in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's the first award show you ever went to? I went... Well, in Australia, we have the Logies, which is the Australian version of the Emmys. <laughs> You guys know the Logies? <laughs> we have a lot of Australians. Uh, in fact, if you need Apparently. any upholstery done, we got a guy here. Any Aussies here? Are you 
serious? Yes, we always have a... Oh, I saw you were talking to you guys at the yeah. before in the break. Um, uh, what oh, does, why are they called the Logies? I don't... Sounds like Logies. Do you I know. know what that is? Well, that's not a word in Australia, so I don't think. Is it? Did it's not really a no. word here, but we use but it when we're in what? elementary school. The Logies are, I'm telling you, the funnest award shows ever. I mean, I haven't been for a decade now, but when I was 18 and it was the first one I went to, I mean, it's... Why it's are like they the Wild fun? West because they're just a big piss up. Like everyone just gets absolutely <laughs> hammered and oh, they it, do. Yeah, is it on TV? Yeah. Oh, so you watch oh, everyone big, drunk on TV? Thing. Oh, people are drunk the next day going to work because on TV <laughs> generally like the two big shows, Neighbours and, and Home and Away, and there's a lot more now as well, of course, on Australian television. But but you have to work the next morning after the Logies because you kind of film all year round. So people show up in their gowns. People show up still drunk. Really? Yeah. That's Our, a really famous talk show host did a show completely wasted. He did the morning show like wasted. Is it <laughs> and and uh, and Australia loved him more after that. Like they, they were. <laughs> I just I loved it. Really? Yeah, well, didn't even get in it, trouble. Is it really? It's not as like here. It's like it's frowned upon a little bit if somebody's. No, no, no. very much embraced. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what it's like now, but back then, I mean, I was, like I said, I was 18, so of course I was very excited to be at the Logies. And the second year I went, I got so drunk, I passed out. It's held in the casino, big Crown Casino. It's a huge, huge <laughs> casino in Melbourne, and. I passed out in one of the toilet stalls, like a cubicle. What? And I I woke up and I came out and it happened to be the one hour that the casino closes to like be cleaned and there's no people there. And I didn't know it ever closes. It's usually just full of thousands of people. And I came out and it was such a weird, surreal experience because there was no one around. And for a second in my drunken state, I was like, did I die? Am I, <laughs> is this purgatory? <laughs> Am I? Am I in between heaven and hell right now? This is so weird. Wow. Yeah. And were you? Did you ever figure no, it out? No, eventually I found someone who was cleaning. They're like, what are you doing in here? And I was no. like, what time is it? i got to be at work. I think I showed up to work <laughs> in my gown. And the, and the nurse at work uh, gave me some oxygen. And, oh, wow. Yeah, it felt great after. You know, when you have a nurse at work, you know you're having, you have a more fun <laughs> job than... Most everyone yeah. else. She's she, her busiest day is the day after the Logies, <laughs> for sure. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna come back. We'll see a clip from the new movie. It's called Bombshell. Margot Robbie is with us. We'll be right back. Oh my gosh. I can't get fired. This is the only job I have ever wanted. I don't want to be on TV. I want to be on Fox. Uh huh. My family, every day, every holiday, like especially holidays, we watch Fox News. We're like addicts. Fox is how we do church. You know when they made the corner logo turn? Because folks had Fox burned into their TV screens? That's us. Caleb, you're not getting fired. He cannot scale his anger. He's a perpetual outrage machine. That's why crazies love him. No offense to your family. You want to do the folders? No crying at Fox. No crying. That's Margot Robbie and Kate McKinnon in Bombshell. It opens everywhere tomorrow. Did you know much about that world of this kind of like Fox News feasting family? No, yeah. not yeah. at all. And um, it turns out that that Jay kind of, but particularly Charles grew up in, uh, Charles grew up in a very evangelical family. So they gave me lots of intel. But the, the idea of, I, I didn't know any young millennial women who were super conservative and Republican and, and vocal with their political views. So I, I started a um, fake Twitter account so that I could just follow people. It, honestly, it was so helpful. So that you could learn about them from Twitter? Yeah, just to kind of absorb their political views. How'd you find them? Did you just look for people whose profile picture has an eagle or a flag it, on yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> so the movie opens tomorrow, I mentioned. Yeah. Uh, do you guys, do you know, and I hate, I hope you know about this because I don't want to be the one to tell you if you didn't, Star Wars opens tomorrow also. <laughs> yeah. I... You're gonna kill me, and a lot of people out there are gonna kill me. I've never seen Star Wars. Oh, never? Wow! Never. I've never seen any of them. Well, that doesn't mean it's not gonna open. I know. <laughs> so I'm letting you know. No, you should go see Bombshell well, instead. No, you've no. You've never I, seen Star Wars. Well, no. After a couple of years, it hadn't happened, and then it, I kind of realized it really upsets people. Like people get really angry yeah, that I yeah. haven't watched any of them, and it's really kind of funny. And so <laughs> I've held off now. It particularly <laughs> infuriates my husband. So I've really held off, and it's kind of nice having it in my back pocket. Like, should life ever get a bit dull, I so know that I've got know, Star Wars. Do you know, like, do you know who 
Luke Skywalker's father is? Oh, that one I know. You do know, like, okay. Yeah. Like, Who is I am it? your father. Isn't it Darth Vader? It's Darth Vader, yeah. Do you know yeah. the most I know of Star Wars is this Eddie Izzard, um, like, sketch of About the Death that? Star Canteen? Really? I could, like, do that whole, <laughs> that whole thing. That's so that's good. That's the extent of your Star Wars knowledge. Yeah, that's the extent of well, my Well, I'd love to sit down and watch all nine movies with you sometime. Yeah, we should. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're not you busy, I'm not busy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's great to see you. I hope you have a great Christmas holiday. Thank you. Margot Robbie, everybody. Yeah. The movie is Bombshell. It opens tomorrow. We'll be back with John Kasich. Hey, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season in a fun way. Buy my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and drew it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. Or watch another gaming video and don't help kids. It's up to you.